It's Miss Batty here, back with lesson two in our series on chemical reactions. Now, you hopefully have watched lesson one in the series, and you might have noticed that that was really a review of chapter one, or of what we had learned before the school closure. Hopefully, you're feeling good about that stuff, and you saw the end of the video where we revealed what that brown substance was. Now, we'll do a little recap when we get started with this video, but if you haven't watched lesson one, I really encourage you to go back and do that and make sure you're feeling good about all the things we learned before school closed. I wanted to let you know that some of my students gave some feedback that they would like the videos to be shorter and so that they can pause them, do some work, and then get back on. So today's video, instead of being one long thing, will be broken up into chunks. What you're going to need for the lesson today is a pencil or pen, some lined or blank paper to take down some notes. If you have a Schoology lesson or a handout available that your teacher has provided, you might want to open that up so that you can be filling it out as we go through the lesson. Something that's optional but if you have some vinegar around your house, just can be uh, the white distilled vinegar, baking soda, um, some table salt, oops, knocked something over. Um, you might wanna go and grab those and maybe some cups because you might be able to do the investigation at home yourself. If not, no worries, you can watch the investigation here, but it might be kind of fun to do it uh, yourself as we go through our lesson today. So in our previous lesson, we figured out that the brown substance was something called rust. And many of my students shared places where they had seen rust. One that's just down the street from me is Gasworks Park in Seattle. There's tons of rust all over uh, the old buildings there. We realized that the substance was rust because we were able to get a chemical sample analysis. In our previous lesson, we figured out that the iron pipes were made from repeating atoms of iron, which has the chemical symbol of Fe. So if we were to zoom into those pipes, we would see these atoms of Fe repeating, 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 repeating over and over again. We realized the fertilizer was actually a repeating atom group of a molecule that contains some different types of atoms. And we realized that the rust, also known as iron oxide, again, was a repeating molecule, um, so an atom group of these different atoms. So where we left off is trying to understand where did this rust come from? And here are some of the ideas that I heard from my students in their exit ticket. The first idea was that the pipes could have turned into the brown substance. So we see that there is some iron in the pipes and also in the rust. So something that uh, students were thinking is perhaps there was a change um, that the pipes rusted and turned into this, this rust over time. Another idea was the fertilizer turned into the brown substance. So here we see that the fertilizer looks very similar to the rust. It just has some different atoms. So perhaps when the fertilizer got into the water, it changed into this rust and these atoms changed into the iron that is in the rust. Another idea I heard was that the fertilizer and the pipes combined together to make the brown substance. So students argued that they saw some of the atoms in the iron pipes and fertilizer and that they came together to make this rust. Finally, I also heard that water mixed with the pipes and they combined to make this brown substance, uh, this rust. And again, they were noting that there was some oxygen and some iron, um, so maybe they came together in some way. So this really leads us to our question that we are trying to study uh, today, which is, can substances change into different substances? In our claims, we have different ideas about things that could have changed and become the rust or the brown substance. 
And so what I would like you to do is pause the video for a moment and think about what is your idea for where this rest came from? Which claim are you leaning towards at this time and why? What is it about the chemical analysis of the different substances that are making you think that the rust came from one or more of these other things.